Welcome to Beer and Politics. Today I will present an argument to repeal the Second Amendment. It really comes down to trust. The fear is that if we repeal the Second Amendment, the government will overreach and disarm its citizens. This means not only can we not trust our government to do the will of the people, but we can't trust ourselves to effectively influence our government through the constitutional rights of assembly, petition, and voting. If that's the case, we have a larger problem on our hands. If we can't trust the government in this case, we shouldn't trust our government in any case. This means the Bill of Rights doesn't practically protect us. The protection solely lies in our government's willingness to uphold the principles stated in the Bill of Rights, and we just said we can't trust them. So if we can't trust the government of the people, by the people, and for the people, and the Bill of Rights can't protect us from our government, then the Bill of Rights has no practical use. If the Second Amendment can't guarantee anything, then its existence doesn't provide us access to arms, and its repeal doesn't deny us access to arms. What's important here is that we already have arms. If we can't trust our government, or our influence over the government, then why would you voluntarily give up your arms? The fact of the matter is, you wouldn't. And if you would, then the Second Amendment doesn't mean as much as you think. Now, if you do trust the government, and our ability to influence our government, then repealing the Second Amendment will allow the government to more easily pass gun control legislation. You even believe that we can undo any changes that don't work. It's that simple. Either you do trust our government, or you don't. In either case, you can make a simple argument for repealing the Second Amendment. And until next time, just remember, it's beer and politics.